Look, I know we have all seen videos of camper vans on YouTube or Class B motorhomes, but if you have not seen a Gretsch Class B motorhome, oof, you're in for a treat today. This thing is supreme luxury. Let's go take a look. Now, before we get too far into this video, there's something that I don't enjoy talking about, but we need to talk about because it is the reality if you RV with pets that you need to be aware of. And that is the fact that your RV can potentially lose power. Your ACs can potentially fail. And especially in the summertime in a place like Texas where we are at, your RV can easily heat up to over 100 degrees in a matter of minutes in this scenario. And it is the unfortunate reality that people have came back to their RVs and find their pets deceased because of AC failure. So that is why something like Waggle exists to make sure that that never happens to you. And we want to make sure that never happens to you. So this here is a pet monitoring system for your RV. Works off of a cellular signal. And we're going to open it up here. And the reason we're doing this video is Amazon Prime Day is coming up and Waggle is going to have this piece of equipment for 50% off. So there will be a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments to get 50% off your piece of Waggle equipment here. It's definitely something that you want, especially for summertime if you RV with pets. It is potentially going to save their life. This device here works off of a cellular signal and what it's going to do is if your RV goes above or below a temperature that you have set, it is going to send you a text message and an email to let you know what is going on with your RV so that you can get back to it and make sure that your pets are safe. So definitely something you should check out if you RV with pets. Again, 50% off for Amazon Prime Day. So go check that out. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well. Welcome back to another video, y'all. This here that we're looking at today is the Gretsch Turismo 4x4 and it is a really nice luxury class b motor home now if you don't know we are here at mclean's rv superstores in sanger texas so this is actually their location that is right between dallas and oklahoma it's their furthest north location in texas it's a great spot if you're living north of dallas or if you live in the oklahoma area a good in-between point and you can see it is a incredibly nice facility this is just their interior showroom floor they have a huge service area they have a koa campground behind their property here and they have hundreds of rvs on their lot here so if you are interested in this rv that we are taking a look at today or if you're just ready to start seriously shopping for your next rv you can text us at the number on the screen we are here to help and we can get you connected with mclean's rv superstores they have five different locations four in texas one in oklahoma again we are here at their sanger location which is their furthest north location in texas and on top of that they have their summer sales event coming up for their 60th anniversary that is right you can see the balloons there as they get ready for this event they have been in business for 60 years now i don't know how many family owned rv dealerships there are in America that have been in business for 60 years, but that definitely means you have to have done something right, which is why we are here working with them because we believe McLean's is one of the best dealerships in America that you can buy your RV from. And if you are ready to start shopping for your next RV or like this RV that we're taking a look at today, text us, we'll get you connected with them and make sure you have the best experience possible with buying your next RV. Now, as we go throughout this video, I apologize how some of the lighting may be inconsistent with all these big windows in here. Definitely makes it hard to keep this lighting consistent. I'll see if I can lock the exposure on this camera. Of course, I always run into some sort of limitation. The app that I'm using to record in that allows me to control my mic levels does not allow me to lock the exposure. So if the lighting's a little inconsistent, I apologize. But with this Turismo that we're looking at here, you'll be able to see the floor plan layout on the screen as well as the specs. Now we're gonna go through some of the different um, specs on here real quick. First of all though, I wanna show, this is a four x four, has a diesel engine. It's on the Sprinter 2500 chassis. It's a V6 diesel engine and then it has these really cool black Rhino hard alloy re uh, wheels. Looks really, really nice. I mean, this is a 
pretty dang sweet looking setup with the wheels and tires. And then it's pretty interesting. It has these Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires that are actually the same tires that came on my Tundra that I just got. They're just a different size. These ones here are the 245-70R17 tire on there. But overall, really clean look on the outside. They do make these in multiple different color packages, but this one has this kind of bluish gray color on this package. Now this is a smaller Class B motorhome. Gretsch does make some larger ones, um, but this is gonna be one of their smaller ones here. Again, on the Mercedes 2500 chassis with the diesel V6 engine or six cylinder engine. Um, it has a 144 inch high roof. And when it comes to Gretsch, they are really just a cut above everybody else. Um, this is really inside and out one of the best built best looking class B vans that I have seen. You're gonna see what I'm talking about in a minute, but it is really spectacular. You can tell they put a lot into their craftsmanship. Inside, it's gonna seat up to four people, sleeps two people comfortably, and just has some of the best quality and components you're gonna see in any class B motorhome. So as we go up front, you can see really nice look up here, very modern, has nice LED lights, the Mercedes logo, of course, and all of your sensors up front also has sensors along the back, so you can see those parking sensors there for safety. Definitely gonna get some of the best safety features in this Sprinter chassis. Now, only 19 feet, so it's not too big. Um, gonna be a very manageable size, but still feels like it has plenty of size on the inside. You're going to have a awning that comes over the top there. You can see how it's nicely matched to the paint, so it looks really good. And then let's just knock this out of the way real quick because this is not a cheap motorhome. So the MSRP on this motorhome here, again, this is a 2023 Gretsch RV Turismo 4x4 Tour. 209,909 is the MSRP on this exact model here. However, at McLean's, they have the price starting at 187,713. So again, you can text us at the number on the screen or also down below in the description of this video if you are interested in this RV and we will get you connected with them to help you with purchasing this RV. Really nice look to the windows here, how they just kind of sit flush to the surface there. Looks really nice. And down underneath here, you're gonna have your propane fill space down through here. So open that up and you're gonna have your propane connections here. Plus, I actually have some outlets down underneath there as well. So that is pretty nice. Um, even can see like underneath here, looks like, you know, I don't know what material this is, but this is all solid down underneath here. So I like that. And then you have your exhaust right here. Um, that looks like that is the engine exhaust, but nice chrome finish to that as well. Down underneath the motorhome, just wanted to look underneath here, kind of give you a look at everything down under there. Let me change it to the wide lens. And you can see underneath here how everything looks. It's not really fully enclosed underneath here, some exposed elements and whatnot. So that is something to be aware of, but you have a nice look to how everything is just built and designed underneath here. It's just some exposed elements down underneath there. As we move our way back, have your back doors here so you'll be able to open these up. And when we open these up, I wanna do this really for one main specific purpose, which is to show you that you have a screen back here. Now it is motorized, so I can't pull it down from back here. I have not seen, yeah, that's not, that's a lock right there. Um, no switch here to move that down. So it would be inside, which would make sense um, since you don't want the bugs to come inside. But this is a motorized screen that comes down so you can't have that bug screen if you wanna leave these doors open. Of course you have a backup camera there and then these are gonna slam close nicely. Very thick, strong door there. So definitely nice. Again, have all your sensors along the back. And as we come along this way, there's another exhaust right here, which I would believe this is a generator exhaust. It is, so you have a 2,500 watt quiet gas or LP generator. So it looks like, because I see the QG and LP on there, that looks like it's gonna run off of gas or propane. So if I'm incorrect about that, I apologize, but that is from every indication that I'm seeing looking like it's gonna run off gas or propane there and be nice and quiet. So you have a 2,500 watt generator down underneath there coming this way. Look at this, you have a steel encased water compartment here that is hidden and it just is gonna blend in perfectly when you put this door down because it'll match the paint perfectly. It's also where your 30 amp power connection is right here. So that is something more quality than we typically see with most RVs. And then right here, I don't have the key to open this compartment, but 
I'm, yeah, that looks like all your dump stations down through this door here. But notice how everything is paint matched, so it just looks really clean. Have your Gretsch logo right there on the chrome finish, and then your step to get inside. So not too terribly much going on on the outside, but it looks really nice. And let's go ahead and get on the inside and show you where the real magic is with this motorhome. As we go take a look at the inside and all of its luxury, again, we are at McLean's RV Superstore in Sanger, Texas, which is their furthest north location in Texas. And I bring that up because McLean's is a priority RV network dealer. So what that is, that means if you are ever in an emergency, you purchase your RV from McLean's, you automatically become a member of this network. Let's say you're traveling halfway across the country and you have a major event like an AC failing on you or something along those lines. There are 140 different service departments across the United States that are a part of that network that will get you in the front of the line at their service departments if you purchased from a Priority RV network dealer. So you automatically become a member in that network when you purchase your RV from McLean's. Great thing to be a part of in the event that you have an emergency where you need to get your RV taken care of so your trip isn't just completely ruined. So remember, if you are interested in this RV as we are going through this video, you can text us at the number on the screen and we will get you connected with McLean's and make sure you have a great experience with purchasing your RV. So you can see there how that door automatically opens up once you pull the handle. You have the power step that comes out as well, making it easy to come in and out. And right away, as we step inside, this one has this darker wood tone. It's gonna give it a very moody feeling inside that I actually really like. And I feel like it's going to have a very timeless look. You can see right away that you have this mount here that is probably for this table right there. Um, I say probably, it's, I don't see where else that table would go. So it's gotta be for that table, which is gonna give you a table right here that you could either swing to the outside and have an outside table or swing and you can probably use it for sitting in this location here as well. Now, I really like how you don't have like a janky bug screen that just falls from the top and doesn't secure into anything. This is actually a framed in bug screen that is really nice, good quality. And that is going to, I mean, really make it near impossible. There's the slightest gap here at the bottom, but it's gonna make it near impossible for bugs to get inside this RV if you wanna keep that door open. Plus, don't forget you have the awning over top here and you can see the LED light strip in that awning there as well. So you will get LED lights in there. Um, you can see your mirrors go in on the side just to give you that little bit of extra clearance on the sides. And then as we step inside, we're gonna start from the front and work our way back. The very first thing that you notice when you step into one of these Gretsch motorhomes is just how buttery soft the leather is on all of your cushions for your chairs and your sofas. It is so comfortable. It is much more comfortable than other motorhomes out there and feels much more premium. So I really like that. This has almost like a kind of soft gray color. It doesn't always translate super well on camera. I wonder, yeah, it's, it almost looks a little bit more cream color. And I guess maybe it's a little bit of a cream color as well, but definitely see tones of gray in there. And then it does have for added comfort, has this extendable little leg area or leg rest, I guess you could say, that will give you that extra little bit of comfort there. Now, obviously seats swivel. So you can see that there, you will get the ability to swivel these seats. So you have extra seating if you're wanting to hang out in the cabin area of this or in the living quarters of this motorhome. In your driver's seat here, Mercedes chassis. So it just looks really clean. Love how everything is black in here. Gives it a very, very clean, sophisticated look. You have your seat adjusters there in that area. And it does have um, heated seats, plus your locking controls there, mirror controls, and just a really, really beautiful set of equipment here. And like we were talking about, this Mercedes is going to have a lot of your safety features in here to make sure you have a more safe experience driving this motorhome, making you more comfortable driving this motorhome. You're gonna have multiple different cup holders here, this button, look at that. You can close that door from the driver's seat. I mean, that little convenience, how convenient is that? Imagine you're just able to get into your seat here, leave that door open, that way you don't have to shut it behind you, you can close that there. But not only is there a button there, there's also a button here. So multiple different ways to open and close this door. Storage up above here, so just that little extra bit of added space with a grab handle there as well. And then you're going to have what looks like, yeah, some additional cup holders here as well on both sides. Got some storage space on here on the passenger side, seat controls for the passenger as well. And you can see there are memory controls for these seats as well. 
Got storage here. It even has rubber floor mats here in the floor. So that is another nice premium touch as well. And then that's pretty much everything in the driver's cab area. Now, as I go through this video as well, make sure to let me know what you like and what you don't like. And if you have questions or if I miss anything, let me know. Would love to answer any additional questions in the comments. Or if you know some information that I miss, add that as additional information in the comments as well. Um, have some additional controls up here, like these toggle switches that you have. Those feel nice. And some additional controls down underneath here as well. Push to start on there. And as we move our way back, really start to see the quality. Let me close this door so we have it closed up here. And just the cabinetry, the hardwood finish on here, the lights. You got really elegant lighting in here. Even just these lights, the design of them and how they're done looks really nice. The lights in the ceiling have a more interesting look to them. They're really small, but they have a warm tone to them that gives it a more classy feel, I would say. Behind this area here is your bathroom. So in Class B motorhomes, I always say your bathroom is more of like an emergency use type of thing. Not necessarily something you'll want to use all the time. Um, if you can find a restroom to stop at or something like that, that's usually preferred, but you do have this in the event of an emergency, plus obviously good place to shower, wash your hands, things like that. You're going to have this whole one piece finish here. So you can see how this is all one piece and it has a sink built in and then it goes up through here you have your shower head here. This doubles as your faucet for the sink. Um, it is cut here in the middle, so just keep that in mind, but it's all one piece down there through the bottom. It has a window in here, so you get natural light into this space as well. And of course, it's gonna have a pull down blackout shade for your privacy. That protection with this material that is all waterproof goes all the way up through the ceiling. This looks like it is a vent fan right there. And then you're going to have a shower curtain that goes across all the way through there. And then this is going to be a clothing line so you can dry clothes or towels. It will snap into that little spot right there. And that will allow you to dry clothes in this area or dry your towels off in this area as well. So really nice space, porcelain toilet as well. And it is all going to be finished out so that it's waterproof. So you can take a shower in this area and not have to worry about anything getting wet. You also have a nice big mirror here. So when you have that door closed and you're in the shower, you'll have like a half body mirror there. Or when you keep this open, it's a nice big mirror as well with another towel hook right there. Right above this space, you have a Max Air vent fan. So a very expensive, good quality vent fan there. All of your touchscreen controls right here. There's also another one of these panels on the other side of this countertop because these will control the bed. So it's pretty convenient to have these controls over there as well. So these will be where all the controls for your RV is at. Here you're gonna have a solid surface countertop. Really interesting, it's like a black material but it has all these silver sparkles in it that just has like a galaxy kind of look. Pretty interesting. And as we go along the sides too, I just wanna point out all of your wall panels and everything are all a soft touch. This here is a window, so it actually has a curtain right here and this might actually be a power curtain but it is a window on the other side of that. So do you have that as well? And same thing with your ceiling. It's all like a cloth material that is soft touch. So just more premium quality all throughout this whole motor home. But again, solid surface countertops here, stainless steel sink, stainless steel faucet. And that's a big sink for this size motor home. I mean, that's a good rectangular sink there. Can fit some good sized dishes in there. And then, Really good cabinetry as well. You'll have these push buttons that unlock your cabinetry. You can see they are like a charcoal stainless steel color. And when you open this up, you're gonna have some spots for some sponges or whatever you may use there. And then I wanted to get the flash on so you could see a little bit more detail as we go through here because you're gonna have, you know, they've really tried to maximize as much storage as possible. So you have some drawers here. These are solid hardwood finishes with these dovetail connections there. I think those are, you know, what those are called in the construction world but really good construction on those. They feel incredibly solid too, just with the mechanism for these drawers that pull in and out. It looks like you have ball bearing glides on here, but solid hardwood all throughout all the wood finishing in this motor home. And again, these will all lock shut for you as well. Go down here, you're gonna have a convection oven, microwave combo, because there is no oven in this RV, they give you a convection oven, microwave combo right there. And then down below this space, more storage here with another drawer that pulls out. 
obviously in any class B motorhome like this, you're gonna be limited on storage, but they try to give you as much as possible. You also get a two burner stove in here. So not just one burner, but two burners on this. And those are gas burners there. And then up through here, storage, you can see how there's LED lights in all of your cabinets up above. Love that. Oh, and look at how solid these hinges are too. Hidden hinges, very solid. Good construction on these. Really love the way those feel. And they do not just slam shut. They have, they don't have like a soft close, but they kind of assist you when you go to close it so it doesn't just snap shut on you and make a loud banging sound. Right above my head is the AC. And then we're gonna pause on going through the rest of the storage real quick to jump over to the refrigerator. See your refrigerator here, you have a little freezer portion in the top, obviously pretty minimal, but you know, you can bring a cooler along with you or something like that too, possibly. Open this up and you have storage space through there. Looks like that is a Blu-ray player right here. Solar charge controller for the 200 watts of solar that are on the roof and a satellite connection if you want to hook up satellite inside of this RV. Also looks like back there, yeah, carpet lined on the back wall and on, uh, not on the side, but on the back wall. Let me double check and make sure. Yeah, no, it is. I double guessed myself. And this is like a carpet line too, or it's almost like a felt material. Pretty interesting. So we keep going along this side, you'll have storage all throughout here. Again, all LED lit, has that felt material all throughout, even on the floor portion of it. And then more back through here. Now with these open, can't open up the back portion. So we're gonna close that and open this one up across the back. There's some more equipment back through here. This looks like it's a visor for the windshield and then you have some additional pillows. Same, just buttery soft leather material there. And then that goes all the way back to the side and to that side there. So lots of storage. This is actually carpet back through here. So carpet lines on that one, a little bit more fluffy carpet. And then storage through here, you have your leg for the table and then you have a water hose for outside and a first aid kit. So I have that additional equipment there. Now, of course, on a motorhome like this, you have to have a comfortable seating experience when you're going down the road. You'll have two seat belts back here. So you can sit back here and hang out and you have a Vizio TV with a Bose soundbar. I believe this is a Bose soundbar. I saw that at least in the specs and I could be wrong. No, it's a Vizio soundbar. I thought I saw in the specs online that it came with a Bose soundbar, but this is a Vizio soundbar. So you have the Vizio soundbar. Nonetheless, it's right in your face, so it's gonna give you plenty of sound. And again, just buttery soft seats back here. So comfortable, so plush, and just nice to sit in. They really feel nice when you sit down. You feel like you're sitting in luxury. You're gonna be able to sit back here, watch TV, especially if you're just sitting in this seat here. I mean, that TV can be right in front of you. But you can sit two passengers back here with seat belts. Again, you have your controls right here for the whole RV from where you are sitting. If you're sitting back here going down the road, you have outlets and USB ports here. It even has a USB type C port. So love to see that keeping up with the 21st century technology. So have that same thing on this side as well. Cup holders down here also and cup holder down here. Now you have the ability to add a table right here. If you wanna put that table in this spot here as well, you can do that. Down underneath here, you're going to have your breakers and fuses plus a battery disconnect switch there. So no additional storage, but access to those components. And I'm guessing this is gonna be something similar. Yeah, it looks like you have more electrical access down underneath there, plus the start and stop switch for your generator will be under there as well. This material in the flooring is like a vinyl woven material. So it's almost like an outdoor carpet kind of material. Really nice because it's gonna be easy to keep clean and it's uh, something where you can just basically sweep any debris or dirt or anything that gets on there and just sweep it outside of the motorhome. Now, a couple other things. You have this Timberline heating system. So this is gonna use your diesel heating system in the RV, so using the diesel engine to heat both your water and air. So this is like an on-demand water heater system essentially. And then with your controls, show you how this makes into a bed. You have controls here, but I'm going to step over to this spot right here and show you. First, we'll put the sides down. So these seats aren't really practical for a place to sit, but they will extend out so that you can make this into a bed. That's why they're there. They seem kind of useless at first, but that's really their purpose is to make it into a bed. And then just showing the extra little bit of quality. A lot of motorhomes have the same floor plan layout. However, they don't have little touches like 
first of all, just the quality of this leather. But second, like this has a metal rail that it is securing into. It's not just sticking Velcro on the back of this and just hoping it sticks. They're actually giving you good solid materials. Plus this is wood back, so it's not just a cushion. It actually has a backing to it for more support. Then it'll have the same thing on the other side as well over here. So let me get the other side down real quick, show you how this makes into a bed. Actually, we gotta get all three sides down. Whoops, wrong button there. You can see how I'm pushing these buttons over here, getting these to go out. So now we have that part. Now I'm gonna put the sofa down. So the sofa is gonna go down like so. And overall, this is gonna make a pretty good size bed. I mean, it looks to be at least about the size of a queen size bed. You'll take these back cushions here, take these off the rails, and these will fill in into these pockets right here. Always so difficult to do this on camera with one hand, but the camera always freaks out on me when I do that with one hand. But you can see how everything comes together nicely. And although there's seams in here, it comes together so close and just squishes together that I really don't think you're gonna feel them when you're laying on them, especially maybe put some bedding down on here. And I think you'll have a real comfortable sleeping experience. And let me just lay down on here and see what the length of this bed is because I'm 6'1 without my shoes on. Oh yeah, easily fit. I would say this bed is probably about 75, 76 inches in length or so, somewhere right around there. Um, you know, they might have the bed specs on their website. If they do, I'll try to remember to put them on screen here so you can see the exact measurements. I think it was like 66 inches wide and 74 inches in length, if I remember correct. So hopefully that is correct there. But that's your bed. That's how your bed sets up in this motorhome. And that is pretty much your entire interior space here. Now, I want to go outside and show you one other thing. As we go outside, I keep thinking to manually open this door even though you don't have to. But as we go outside, I want to just show you underneath this seat what's going on back here because I kind of overlooked that. Kind of nice how they give you a hidden area back underneath here. So they use this kind of carpet lining here to block off whatever's underneath here. But you do have a little cubby that opens up. It says this is not a storage compartment, so keep that in mind. But that's because this is where your electrical components are, including your battery down underneath there. So battery disconnect switch as well, and you have your 2000 watt inverter back behind here. So that is all nicely concealed by this carpet right there. And that's something, again, just higher quality motorhome comes with these you know, extra little pieces of luxury like this carpet concealing this area back here. Try to get it nicely tucked back in there. And there you go. So that's your whole space inside here. Let me know what you think about the space. Again, this is about as quality as you're going to find in a motorhome. And, you know, Gretsch, they want to make sure that you get a motorhome that is going to last, that's going to hold its value, not only just in monetary dollar amounts, but also just making sure that you have a dependable RV, that when you go out and want to make memories by yourself or with your family, you are able to do so and you're not dealing with a bad piece of equipment that you invested money in to go make those memories. So if you are interested in this RV, you can text us at the number on the screen. We are here to help. We're ready to help. McLean's has five different locations four in Texas, one in Oklahoma. We would love to help you out with getting your next RV, whether it's this one or maybe this one isn't exactly in your budget, but there's lots of other options out there that we can help you out with. So text us when you're ready. And remember, McLean's has their 60th anniversary sale coming up real soon. And that's gonna be one of the best opportunities of the year to find your next RV and get the best deal possible. So stay tuned for that, be ready for that. If you're in the event that you're ready to start shopping for your next RV. So we're here to help you out. Look forward to helping you out. And until next time, live firmly on bound.